again friends welcome back to our channel where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great thank you guys so much for tuning in watching another video to my amazing supporters thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support i love y'all i appreciate y'all and before we get into it if you are new to my channel come here yeah hey welcome my name is christina nice to meet you today it is saturday january 14th it's currently 6 09 p.m y'all and as y'all can tell clearly it's a get ready with me video but it's also motivation i noticed that y'all have really 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 like enjoyed the get ready with me and motivation y'all like my story times too but sometimes like you know we gotta we gotta get to business we can't just be telling stories and kiki it all the time okay yeah <laughs> anyways so um i'm gonna roll the clip at the end of me getting ready but i'm gonna do the motivation now so in this video what i wanted to tell y'all about as y'all can probably tell by the title of this video basically like sharing with y'all like how to grow an action habit so i'm gonna share with y'all six steps basically an action habit is anything that like make you take action towards like a habit that will bring you towards your goals whatever it is that you're trying to reach whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish you get what i'm trying to say there are some habits like they're not action habits they're just habits that are trying to that you just do you get what i'm trying to say but action habits is literally anything that you do intentionally deliberately to meet a certain goal to accomplish a certain goal to achieve a certain dream or you know anything along that line so i'm gonna share with y'all six things that are like helpful basically because i'm a like i'm a doer that's one thing i could say like is positive like when it comes to me that i love about myself and i feel like a lot of people know that about me that's why people will call on me to help them with different things or want me to be able to be a part of a certain team when it comes to certain things because i just get stuff done like i'm an executor i don't like procrastinating and i don't like delaying like i like handling my business and get into stuff so since that's one of my strengths like i feel like i want to help my supporters help the people that's watching to do the same thing so y'all gonna see me drop more videos that kind of like is intent intended to push y'all to do what y'all have to do to achieve your dreams to achieve your goals so the first first thing i would say to grow an action habit is don't wait for conditions to be perfect so let's say like you want to start a youtube channel a youtube channel or go to the gym and i'm gonna use myself as an example just so y'all can relate to me better so for me the craziest thing so for the longest time y'all i wanted to start a youtube channel and i was like talking about it i was telling everybody like yo you should start a youtube channel rah 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 you know what i'm saying get a camera do this whoop the wood like i was telling all my co-workers um, my friends like that they should do it right deep down i really wanted to do it, but i was genuinely scared but i saw that the people around me was talented that they had potential like they reminded me of youtubers so i was like you know i felt like they should have started and they didn't but i decided to start so when i decided to start y'all like y'all saw my video if you go back to my first youtube video five years ago y'all i had no idea what i was doing i was completely broke if i may say i was facing eviction at the time actually like i was going through so much and the video that i put out was about like never giving up and i told y'all in that video like i'm gonna share my story with y'all one day of why like i dropped that video why i was like motivating y'all to never Never give up because I was going through so much on my own and I was like damn like in order for me to motivate people to never give up to never quit or never give up on their dreams their goals like I have to do that you know what I'm trying to say so everything that I was going through I actually got through it I went through it and five years later I'm still here you know what I'm saying so never wait for conditions to be perfect like if you want to start something if you want to do something if you want to follow your dreams follow your goals 
do it in spite of what might be going on around you like at that time like I told y'all like when I was putting out those videos like I was going through so much like of course the number one headache I don't even know where I'm about to live like you know what I'm trying to say but I still got up like consistently and put out videos for y'all put out content for y'all and motivated y'all and everybody was like dang like you're so motivating you're so inspiring but I was going through so much of my own so that's what I mean like if you want to pursue something just do it like you don't have to wait for everything to work out like if you want to start a YouTube channel don't wait for you to buy a camera I didn't even have a camera I was filming off of an iPhone 6 and I was filming off of my husband iPad at the time you get what I'm trying to say so you don't have to wait for things to be favorable I was editing on my iPhone at the time you know so now I have a camera I have a tripod I have a MacBook that I can edit off of and I'm deeply grateful that I have that you know what I'm trying to say so anything that you want to do if you want to start a business start you don't even have to wait to register as an LLC to start the business just start you know write up your L write up your plan your mission statement different things like that like for me one of my greatest desires is to start a nonprofit. I pretty much have already started it it's just not fully in action yet you get what I'm trying to say but I've written out my mission statement I've written out like people that will be beneficial to that foundation you know what I'm trying to say so just start like don't wait for things to be perfect don't wait for things to be like you know what I'm trying to say like think about like a farmer for example like if a farmer wait for perfect timing to farm he will never farm like you get what I'm trying to say a farmer just goes out and they just farm and they do they, when they plant their seeds there's no guarantee the crop is going to produce what they're expecting it to produce but they take that chance and they go ahead and they sow the seed so don't wait for perfect time don't wait for perfect condition to start in anything that you want to do the second action step is be a doer y'all be a doer I used to be a procrastinator but I worked on myself I listened to like audios and things like that to just help develop my mind develop better habits and practice just not procrastinating okay so be a doer like being a doer just means yes you could talk about it you could speak it into existence but you have to work as well you have to take action with whatever it is that you say you're going to do you get what I'm trying to say like I didn't get this far on my YouTube channel for example just by talking like I took two and a half years off and I spent them two years just talking ain't did nothing you know what I'm trying to say and it stunted the growth of my channel but when I got back into motion I got monetized as a result you know what I'm trying to say so be a doer anything like don't just talk about stuff like that sometimes is one of my biggest pet peeves it's like I don't like somebody that just say 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 and they don't take no time and do anything that they're gonna say you know what I mean if you gonna start a YouTube channel for example put 30 minutes a day into it I, I, like make time for it that's how you be a doer make time to do the things that you say you're going to do you get what I mean and that's one of the things I did like um back when I was in college I had like these calendars and I had them for different categories of my life so in the health category I knew like okay I gotta make sure I work out I gotta make sure I drink water I gotta make sure that I eat throughout the day because that was another thing I used to struggle with like I just would not eat sometimes I could go a whole day locked in focused on just getting my degree and not eat you know what I'm trying to say I could go all morning like going from class to class doing homework at study hall all that stuff and it never eat so I had to find a way to balance so get you some calendars some monthly calendars write out different categories I'm gonna probably do a separate video on this to really help you all out and just write down what are the things that you need to do to be a doer in that area of your life if it's YouTube videos write it out when are you dropping videos what kind of videos are you going to be dropping what do your audience like how can you make time to create that content and to drop those videos that's how you be a doer the number one way to be a doer is make time to do what you said you was going to do period ain't no ain't nothing else to it the third thing is ideas alone do not bring success you can have a whole bunch of brilliant ideas but if you don't execute if you don't do if you don't handle your business if you don't make time to 
work on that idea, develop that idea, execute that idea, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get no results that you're looking for. You get what I'm trying to say? And again, my channel is a perfect example. Even me, like health wise, you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, I could say, oh, I wanna look snatched, I wanna look good, but I gotta hit the gym, I gotta work out. Maybe you can't afford a gym membership, but you could work out at home, do some sit-ups at home, do some squats at home, jog in place at home, walk around the neighborhood. Like you you gotta do you can't just sit on all your ideas you get what i'm trying to say like you just can't you gotta figure out how to get your ideas from out of your head and into action and the number one way like i said is make time to do all the things that you say you want to do it's not enough alone just to have an idea but you have to act on that idea like i told you i wanted to start a youtube channel for years like you know what I'm trying to say? But I could have kept talking about it. I could have kept just saying it and never did anything, you know? And it's a brilliant idea. Starting a YouTube channel is an amazing idea because you get to be yourself. You get to grow, you get to develop, and you get to just be your true self. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's number three. The fourth thing is use action to cure fear. And I absolutely love, 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 love this point because yes, you might be scared to do something, but when you do it, you realize it's not that bad. It's not as bad as you think it is. It's not as terrifying as you think it is. Sometimes it's all in your mind. It's all in your head. You get what I'm trying to say? But once you get into action, once you take action, you realize this is not as bad as it as I think it is. Nobody is gonna die. It's not the end of the world. It's not as bad as you think it is, babe. Okay, so handle your business. Do what you gotta do. Like, use action to cure fear. Even when you feel unmotivated or uninspired, when you take action, that will re-motivate you. That will re-inspire you. When you take action, eventually the fear is going to subside. You know what I'm saying? So use action to take fear, period. To cure fear. Number five is start your creative engine mechanically. So this is something that I've struggled with sometimes, but I've grown and I've developed as an influencer to overcome this in a sense. So sometimes you gotta force yourself to do whatever it takes to get the action done. You know what I'm trying to say? So I notice with myself, like my best content, for example, is when my hair is done, when I look good, when I feel good. You get what I'm trying to say? That's why get ready with me videos have become like such a big thing on my channel. Like it has really helped my channel grow because it's like when I get dressed, I love getting dressed. Like it gets me in my element. And I promise I don't always feel like getting dressed. 10% of the time I don't feel like getting dressed sometimes, especially depending on how much work I got to do with my hair. Like if I got to sleep my hair up, that's too much work. I don't be in the mood to be as creative. But if my hair is already like a get up and go hairstyle, baby, I'll be ready to film, be on camera, drop some content. Like I'll be ready to be seen. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, and I feel like that's why some YouTubers and influencers have become so big because yes, like you don't want to always be glammed up and all that, but there's something about like looking good, feeling good that helps you be more productive, that helps you want to just get more stuff done as a whole. So sometimes even when you don't feel like it, you gotta take your feelings, put them to the side, tell them, yo, I'm gonna be back, all right? And I guarantee you, even when you done doing what you gotta do, them feelings gonna be right there waiting. <laughs> but I mean, for real, like they gonna be right there waiting for you. So just force yourself sometimes to do what you gotta do even when you don't feel like it. Like if, Sometimes like this is one of the things I gotta do. I open a notepad, a note section on my, my phone and I start jotting down YouTube ideas or I'll go to like YouTubers that have done well that I like that can do, that do relatable content and I just get inspired by them and then ideas eventually start flowing. But you can't wait for ideas to start flowing to say, oh, then I'm gonna do something. I promise you not gonna always be creative. You know what I'm trying to say? Another thing that I do because sometimes I do get creators blocked. The times when I am like really creative, 
I jot down like multiple, multiple, multiple video ideas, like five, 10, 15 sometimes at a time, because you're not always going to be in a creative space. You get what I'm trying to say? So even when you do hit the gym, right, on the days that you feel like it, go as hard as you possibly can. Give it 120% because the days that you don't feel like it and you only kind of give it 80%, the, 20 the extra 20% that you gave when you was given 120%, it's gonna make up for that day that you only gave 80%. We locked in? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then number six, which is the last one, I ain't gonna lie, baby. This is something that I struggled with, but I personally believe that just because you struggled with something, it doesn't mean you can't help somebody else with it. Like just because you're currently struggling with a certain issue in a certain area of your life, that does not mean you cannot help somebody else in that area of their life. So number six is live in the present okay and living in the present means focus on what you could do now and sometimes this could take training this could take practice like just focus on what you could do now okay i promise like when y'all see me do my travel vlog sometimes don't get it twisted like i want to have a drone and fly the drone over so y'all can see like where i'm at what i'm doing and all that stuff you know what I'm trying to say? Because drones are basically like cameras from the sky that capture bigger, better angles. But I'm not in a position right now to do that financially. But I can't focus on that and say, oh, I'm not going to film or make a certain type of content now because I don't have the equipment that I need. No, it's just like, for example, with a YouTube channel, you don't have to have a camera to start. You know what I'm trying to say? You don't have to have a ring light, perfect lighting, uh, a MacBook to edit on it, all that stuff to start. You do not, baby. You could start on your phone and work your way to that position. Focus on what you could do now. Maybe you can't afford a gym membership right now because things are just not, you know, you're not in a position financially to do that. Or maybe it's not convenient for you to go to the gym because maybe you have kids or whatever your situation might be. You know what I'm trying to say? But you can work out at home. So focusing on the now just means start where you are. Don't let where you think you should be hold you back from you going into that direction. You get what I'm trying to say? So focus on what you could do now. There's something that I constantly like push myself to do because sometimes I look at other people's like YouTube, YouTube videos and I'm like, dang, I want to learn to do that. I want to learn to do that. But it's like sometimes I don't have the time right then and there to learn to do that. Or sometimes it's like some people, the courses, the, the price that they're charging for the courses to learn that stuff, it's like, okay, I can't afford that right now. But what I can do is continue to just put out content, do my best, and then when I can't afford those courses, you pay to take them. You know what I'm saying? So focus on what you could do now. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all. I hope y'all utilize this to, to grow an action habit. And just remember they say it takes 21 days to make a habit. It takes 21 days to break a habit. So if there's an action habit that you want to create, my action habit that I needed to create at once upon a time, like to make my dreams a reality when it came to my YouTube channel is I needed to be consistent in putting out content. I just needed to. So what I did, like I eased my way into doing something like that. I started off, I said, okay, boom, we're going to drop one video a week, right? Start doing the action habit one once a week. Then up it twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, right? And before you know it, you're in that habit. You know what I'm trying to say? You might not get it the first week. You might not get it the second week, but just start over. Keep starting over. Keep starting over. Keep starting over. Now, it that the 21 days that you finally do it consistently, you will develop that good habit. So figure out what it is that you need to do to create that healthy action habit that will gear you towards your dreams, that will gear you towards your goals, and just do it. So I'm gonna do a quick recap. Never wait until conditions are perfect. If you wait for conditions are perfect, you probably will never do anything because when the condition is perfect, you might not feel like doing it and then you don't end up doing it at all. Second, be a doer. 
talking is great manifesting is great speaking stuff into existence is great but you have to take action as well to match up to the things that you're speaking into existence third ideas alone do not bring success you can have all the ideas in the world like they said the wealthiest place in the world is the graveyard because that's where dreams that that people had they never accomplished ideas that people had were never brought to life and now those people are gone so four use action to cure fear if you feel uninspired do something take action if you feel scared do something take action don't just stay still and not do anything and then five start your creative engine mechanically force yourself sometimes to do the things that you don't want to do learn to put your feelings aside and just act anyway and then six live in the present focus on what you can do now don't worry about tomorrow don't worry about the past what you could have should have would have did baby now okay so that's pretty much all i got for y'all i'm gonna show y'all my little outfit and then wrap this video up but i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below like what act like out of the six things comment below like maybe something that you feel like you're struggling with concerning action habits and like what you're doing to overcome it you know what I'm trying to even say? when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 you can flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past start the pain and you'll find a door Open it up and finally explore Everything that you thought you could never do before you can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never answer to no Man, I still go Go, go So that's why I got this little simple fit on, but I got these leggings on, this hoodie on, and just this little tank top. I did put some lashes on and stuff like that. As y'all can see, I did my brows, my baby hair and stuff. Just did a little sleek ponytail. And again, y'all know my drill. Silver hardware is what's on my fit. So silver jewelry is what I chose to wear with it. And then I got, <laughs> oops, sorry. And then oh, my phone's ringing. And then I got these little house slippers on because I'm just in the house filming content. And that's it. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video, y'all. Remember, 2023 is a year of comeback. So in order to make a comeback, you have to take action. You can't sit still. You can't be chilling and wasting time and all that. Mm -mm. Where they do that at? <laughs> anyway.
anyways y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to like and most importantly don't forget to comment on this video i love y'all i appreciate y'all thank y'all so so much for tuning in i'ma see y'all in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great